On June 25th, Farrah Fawcett died in a Santa Monica hospital after a three-year battle with cancer. The star of the hit TV show Charlie's Angels, Fawcett was known for her stunning good looks as well as for the men whom she was romantically involved. She was married to actor Lee Majors in the 1970s, divorced him, and then married and divorced actor Ryan O'Neill in the 1980s. But she was also linked with a man from Lubbock named Greg Lott, and he's angry with the way he's been treated by O'Neill and by the way O'Neill dealt with Fawcett in her final months. He's not the lover of her life. I'm the lover of her life. And uh, Alana Stewart's not her best friend. I'm her best friend, and I don't know what these people are, or what their agenda is, except for the fame and the money. I'm not interested in either one of those things. Greg Lott of Lubbock, Texas, does not think highly of actor Ryan O'Neill and actress Alana Stewart, and says Farrah Fawcett is the love of his life. Well, we have this incredible connection uh, where we don't really need to talk to each other. We just have this magic thing that happens. And What do you mean? Well, we just have time stand still, no matter whether we're not together. But as soon as we get back together, it's just like it was the minute we were together. I mean, for always, it's been that way. The Lubbock entrepreneur met Fawcett at the University of Texas in the middle of the 1960s. He was a football star, quarterback for the Longhorns. She was the knockout freshman from Corpus Christi. They went on a date that first fall she was on campus, then they didn't talk for a while, and began their romance in earnest that spring at a fraternity party. She had on a black crop top and leopard skin pedal pushers that looked like they'd been painted on, and she can dance. So I danced with her, and I just uh, fell in love with her. Absolutely, completely blind <laughs> in love with her. Lott and Fawcett dated for a couple of years at UT. She moved to Los Angeles to pursue her acting and modeling career while Lott stayed back in Texas. After graduating, he went through some tough times in the 1970s and 1980s, twice serving time in prison on drug charges. But he's been sober and out of trouble for more than 25 years. And during that time, he and Fawcett maintained a relationship. The last few months have been tough on Lot as O'Neill and Fawcett's handlers prevented him from contacting her. I just want people to know the truth. And uh, when this is all said and done and everybody rushes to the money, you know, I'm going to write the truth. What do you mean, everybody rushing to the money? What are you talking about? Well, Alana, you know, she put her book up on Amazon two days after her death, you know, from Ferris Journals from Germany that she has no right to, to have. Lott is also skeptical of O'Neill's role in Fawcett's life. And you don't think highly of him, do you? Don't know him. What do you know of him? Well, I'm a film buff, and so I know he's a bad actor. I've been with her for the last 11 years, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what he's trying to do, but uh, all she was trying to do was placate someone who would keep her son away from her and so she had to try to have a civil, you know, arrangement or a relationship or whatever in a fr to try to be friends so that she could have a uh, uh, chance to see her son from time to time. He went off and lived with his dad from when he was 12 on. And you're writing a book, though, too. I'm going to write a book about my life and about Pharaoh's life and how it intertwined at different times in our lives because it's a 44-year friendship that came back to you know fruition several times and m probably would have lasted except for my uh, incarcerations. Lott says the ordeal of the last few months has been hell and that he's ready for the truth to come out about the girl he loved so much. They say she's the most famous w woman in the world. I don't know. She's just that girl from Corpus Christi to me.